Welcome to Manchester, where it hasn't started raining yet. Yay! Um, I noticed you came in in a Finnish van. Have you driven here all the way from Finland? It's, it's actually a French. Is it? Because I kept looking, going F, F I, F R, F I, F R. Finland's F I, so yes. that's, that's French. It's from Paris. It just said F. Yeah. So, and, and I'm like, ooh, the plates look different from when I lived on the French border. So. Yeah. So you rented a van and you've come from France-ish area no. driving? Or? No, we just got like a French driver because uh. it was impossible to find a driver. I asked like 30 people. So eventually we just found a guy in France to do it. We're just doing the UK. So Okay. Yeah. That was my next question. Are you on a big tour or just here? No, just yeah. four days. Yeah. Four days. Wow. And is this the festival that brought you here to get the tour started? Yeah, like they booked us here and then we just booked everything around it to cover expenses and kind of make it worthwhile, you know. Yeah. And uh, how have you found it so far? You've played two gigs so far. How's how's that gone? Really nice, really, really enjoyable. Mm. Nice and crowds, really nice crowds. That is good because... Your name isn't as well known here. Obviously, everybody knows when you talk Finnish bands, Ratus. Um, but your name here is not as well known. So it's great that you got people coming out. Because if you hear the music and you like that kind of music, yeah, you're coming to that gig. So Yeah, we have played only one show here in, in Britain before, yeah. in London. Yeah, yeah Static Shock, yeah. was it, five yeah. years ago? Okay. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be coming back more often, even though it's not a close journey. Yeah, you have a bit of a trek to get here, but what is the scene like where you are in Finland? Oh, punk scene? Your punk scene, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty active. There's a lot of bands. Yeah. Uh, we got like two kind of big festivals for punk. Mm -hmm. in, um, at least in Helsinki, I feel like there's a lot of new bands as well. So it's... Uh, and after COVID, there's, there's a lot of kids again, which is nice. Yeah. It's like before that, it was just people in 30s and 40s, you know. You need that young energy. Sure. Yeah. It goes with the music. You need their activity out on, on the dance floor to keep things moving and to reflect your music, I think. Yeah, and uh, new visions in music. Yeah. Because old people tend to do the old stuff. <laughs> That's so true. That is so true. Although I would not class either of you as old. So I'm think of it that way. I'm middle aged. <laughs> <laughs> you hide it well. You didn't say that. We'll pretend you didn't say that. Yeah. You can just dub the interview. And, you know, yeah. Like I'm 25. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I'm another young girl. <laughs> and what has been your biggest challenge as a band? I guess we're struggling to 
fight uh, write new stuff. It's like we we already got three albums and like three seven inches, mm. and as a punk band, it's, that's kind of a lot already. Yeah. So, I mean, how many hardcore bands have a good fourth LP? You know, <laughs> it's like that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge, but and I think I think also we have uh, many other bands, so mm -hmm. we are quite busy. Yeah. So that's one challenge too. Yeah, yeah the schedule. It's, yeah. it's just everyone's super busy. Family work. So, how many bands are you in then? Mm, I'm in three bands. I got five. So. <laughs> He puts you to shame on that. No, it's, it's not a competition. <laughs> yeah, so. no, but how do you keep time for all of, all of them, both of you? Uh, you don't always. <laughs> it's just juggling, kind yeah. of. Uh, time management. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, a child too. I'm a single parent oh. and I have to work from eight to four. So time management. Yes. That's oh, the key. yeah. You must really be very good at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super good. <laughs> <laughs> and what gives you the most pleasure out of this particular band? Um, I, th I think it's a nice group, nice group of people. Like traveling together is always fun. Yeah. And um, I guess like whenever there's like a really, really good show with, with a good crowd, good energy, that's, that's like why we travel, so. We like to be with, like, like we enjoy our company, mm. and uh, I think we have the same vision in music. Yeah. Like we want to, we don't want to repeat the same, uh, same thing yeah. all over again. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I have to ask a question. I do a radio show that's broadcast on an American radio station. I play you guys, and I know I'm butchering everything. How do you pronounce the band name? Kohti Tuhoa. Not too bad. I, I, I've said Koti Tuhoa. Yeah, so for an American accent, I yeah. don't think that's horrible. No, no, so. it's, it's good. Yeah. And it's always like misspelled when we travel. So yeah. so that's, you're, you're okay. That's I think I'm okay. Yeah. I can keep doing that. And I'll just uh, keep apologizing every time I yeah. say and try and say a song title. Apologies to all Finnish speakers everywhere. I butchered it, but I'd rather have the music. And if I can't say it, That's so fine. what? Yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for speaking with me. And I am so looking forward to seeing you on stage in a bit. So have fun in Manchester. Enjoy the gig. And we'll see you on stage. Right. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for not uh, asking too hard questions. <laughs> 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 now I'm soft on those yeah. sometimes. All right. Thank you again. Thank you.